Garmin Descent Series dive computers are your buddy for exploring both of your worlds, underwater or topside. In this video, we'll help you get acquainted with your new dive computer, as well as some general tips for beginning divers. Before you start your dive training, you should get a health screening. Diving can be a physically demanding activity, so it's important to know you're ready. The next step is to take a diving course with a certified instructor. There you will learn the basics of diving, including equipment, procedures, safety, and more. A dive computer is a device worn by divers that provides essential in-dive data, like the diver's current depth and dive time. More importantly, a dive computer feeds the diver's depth, time, gas mixtures, and other data into a decompression algorithm to provide a diver with several key pieces of information that help a diver execute their dive. Dive computers calculate a diver's no decompression limit time, otherwise known as NDL. Decompression stops and times, gas switches, gas max operating depths, or MOD, oxygen partial pressures, or PO2, track oxygen exposure, and more. A dive computer will generate alerts to divers when they reach preset or calculated limits and help guide the diver through their dive and back to the surface. It's important to know the difference between a dive computer and a dive watch. A traditional dive watch is an analog timepiece with a rotating bezel that allows a diver to track how long they've been underwater. Historically, the diver would use this time along with dive tables and a depth gauge to track their dive. Dive computers have become the standard tool for a diver to plan and execute their dives. Many dive charter operations require divers to use a computer, and most major training agencies use them in their courses. If you're just getting started, you might not know that there are several different types of diving. Recreational diving is the most popular, and where you'll start in your dive training. Recreational diving is diving within NDL limits. This allows the diver to execute an ascent at any point in the dive. Recreational divers will typically be trained to not dive below specific depths, depending on their certification level. The second category is technical diving. This requires more training and experience to dive deeper and longer than recreational diving allows. Divers are permitted to pass no decompression limits, requiring decompression stops before being able to return to the surface. These divers will often carry multiple gases and redundant equipment. A third category is free diving or apnea diving. Unlike the first two, free diving is done without a tank. Despite the lack of gear, a dive computer is essential for free diving. It helps the free diver know the depth and dive times in a dive and helps to manage their surface intervals. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the Descent MK2 series, please check out our other videos.